So after the video this week showing migrants sleeping in the Boston's Logan Airport, one Georgia state senator captures new video showing migrants inside a hidden room at the Atlanta airport. Watch. Yeah. Transporting anybody anywhere? Yeah, we're all getting in place to, to where they need to be. Yeah, so these are just uh, do recently documented travelers getting released from ICE, getting to where they need to be. Yeah, just let me, let me get a video if you don't. Uh, actually, you cannot get a video. No. no. You cannot get a video. No, you're not allowed. You're not allowed. You're done. No. You're done. Did you hear the documented travelers joining us right now? Georgia State Senator Colton Moore. So I'm confused because I'm going to read this statement later on in, in the segment. But the person that you were speaking to said that they were documented and we know that they were illegal, right? Yeah, we, um, you know, we got a whistleblower uh, who gave us a tip about this hidden room and uh, I had a full team there with uh, some different cameras in different places said on Monday and Tuesday nights, there's just an influx of these people who come through the airport kind of when the uh, the traffic is much lower at the airport. Uh, they were in a hidden room. I was talking to an Atlanta Police Department investigator yesterday. There are absolutely no cameras in this area of the airport. Um, if you watch another part of the video, you'll see that there's some barricades and some caution tape before you get there. It kind of looks like a con construction zone, if you will. So can you explain to me, because, you know, airport's supposed to be one of the most secure locations. There's cameras everywhere. Is this inside of the terminals or outside of the terminals? This is, uh, I believe it's technically the third floor, but it appears as if it's the second floor in the domestic terminal. Uh, our whistleblower says they walk right out of the gates and then they're escorted into this room. Those people in that room, though, they were waiting to be booked to flights all across the United States. Uh, we were also getting video of migrants who were just walking out onto the streets of Atlanta. And who's guarding the door? So there was a U.S. Army soldier there at the door, the guy who says, you're done. Uh, he is a United States soldier. Uh, we, we still not sure exactly what his role was there, uh, but he was sitting right next to the door and uh, basically assaulted me in order to take the phone and try, you know, to get rid of the footage. Uh, I was able to recover the phone, and, and that's the footage you see there. This is crazy. What's going on here? I don't know. You know, there's a lot of questions to be answered. I hope the Georgia Senate will flex its subpoena authority and uh, start bringing some folks from the airport in and getting answers to these questions. Have you yet uh, been able to get in contact with Governor Kemp about this? I can't. Im I can just imagine that he's not too happy about what's going on. I, I think this is the largest airport in the nation. Yeah, it is. It's the busiest airport in the world. Um, the Governor Kemp and I are at a lot of odds uh, on this issue. Uh, with, with, uh, with the Fonnie Willis issue in Georgia, we haven't spoken. I know people in my district have sent him text messages. Uh, he's kind of passed the buck and said this is a federal issue. Uh, I certainly wish we were sending state resources down to the southwest border like Governor Ron DeSantis is. What do you want to see done right now when it comes to this airport? I want to see these people not be able to leave the airport. Uh, you know, the city of Atlanta controls the Atlanta airport. Uh, they ought to be housing these people here until we can figure out uh, things going forward. Well, Senator, the governor comes on our show. We, we hope that he'll come back and tell yeah, us exactly he what he knows about this as well. Uh, I just want to read this statement uh, from Atlanta International Airport. This is what they said. ATL works with Libertad. Uh, volunteers to provide assistance to immigrants during their travel. Immigrants, I thought they were documented. Team Libertad is a nonprofit that has worked at ATL since 2020, and there are no military or other law enforcement agencies involved in this effort. Immigrants are never housed in the airport. Uh, State Senator, we're going to follow this. We appreciate you coming on this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Some shady business going on. We'll get to the bottom of it. No Thanks, doubt. Senator. Thank you. Over to you, Ainsley. He's going to get a lot of votes in the next election. Proud yeah. of him for going to do that, because yeah. that's not easy to do. Great interview, Bye. Lawrence. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.